This video is about Silver Surfer and uh, four story arcs that I think um, do a really good job of introducing the character and exploring all the major themes. And there are a lot more out there, but these are the ones that I think will do the best job of representing everything that the character has to offer. So uh, number one is the start of the Silver Surfer, which is uh, the coming of Galactus story found in Fantastic Four 48, 49, and 50. This is a classic uh, story arc that's been reprinted many times. You can find it pretty easy. The version I have is uh, this reprint from the 1990s and it has um, the original art inside. By um, It's written by Stan Lee and illustrated by Jack Kirby and and it's amazing it's uh, just uh, helps to set the foundation for the rest of the Silver Surfer story and um, and it's a milestone in the Marvel Marvel Comics u universe that um uh, that everybody should read if they are interested in Marvel Comics and the second story arc um, is the solo series, um, Silver Surfer. came out in 1967. It lasted a couple of years. It's been collected in a number of, n number of trades also. And it's written by Stan Lee and um, drawn by John Bushima. And it, to me, is the real heartbeat of the Silver Surfer story. And I enjoyed it very, very much. The art is amazing, and uh, Stanley's right writing, I think, has a lot of depth, more depth to it than it normally does, as he explores a lot of real deep issues. And the surfer is kind of a brooding character, and um, he is very philosophical. And it might take you a while to get used to Stanley's writing style. Um, he he uses exclamation points at the end of almost every sentence, and if you if you're not ready for it or kind of adjusted to it, it can be a little weird. But I uh, eventually you get used to it, and I I mean I think it's great. So that's the second story arc, and then number three uh, is a mi mini series from the. Uh, 2007 or 2008. Um, it's called Silver Surfer in Thy Name. Um, it's written by Simon Spurrier. Here are the individual issues of it. And I think it does a great job of um, maintaining the same interpretation of Nornrad and the Silver Surfer that, that Stan Lee created and continuing that same um, um, same version of the surfer and it's kind of a darker complicated story and taking a larger view of life and um and i think it's i think it's another great example to read and then lastly uh silver surfer requiem by jm straczynski it, to me, serves as the perfect ending to the Silver Surfer story. It asks the question, what if the surfer were dying? What would he do? How would he try to end his life? And and it, it succeeds very, very well. I was very impressed with it. And um, especially with the ending and um, what he does and who he... <laughs> who he meets and then who we find out who who narrates the story and it's it, it's very well done so so those are the four stories that I think are very worthwhile and uh, serve as a great uh, way to get to know the character of Silver Surfer and I know the 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 idea seems kind of weird of some alien silver alien in his underwear riding around on in the sky on a surfboard but but it really is more than that it's it's very kind of shakespearean and um and it's a it's a great superhero story and i really enjoyed it so definitely check out silver surfer if you get a chance